Thank you for joining today's online travel presentation, where we explore Western Canada and the Canadian Rockies by rail. My name is Lynn, and I am pleased to be your moderator for this presentation. Before we begin, I'd like to quickly take care of a little housekeeping. First of all, we will hold all questions until the end. If you have questions during the presentation, please type them in the comment box in the GoToWebinar toolbar. We will cover them at the end of the webinar. And second, there will be two polling questions during the presentation and we encourage you to participate. So let's get started. As I mentioned, I'm Lynn and I'll be your moderator and I am pleased to introduce our presenter, Graham, one of our knowledgeable rail specialists. So now that you know a little bit about us, we'd like to get to know a little bit more about you with our first polling question, which I've just launched and it is, have you visited Western Canada? So we'll leave this poll open for about 20 seconds to let everyone select their response. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close this poll and it looks as though 33% of today's attendees have visited Western Canada. I'm confident whether you will be a first time visitor or a repeat traveler, you're going to discover something new about Western Canada during today's presentation. But before we get started, I wanted to share a little bit about Vacations by Rail. We are the leading rail vacations company in the United States, and we are the trusted authority on rail. We have the largest collection of vacations to destinations around the globe, and the cornerstone of each itinerary is a rail journey aboard at least one of the world's iconic trains. Vacations by Rail is a great rail journeys company, which means we're backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail tours. We are a member of the National Tour Association, American Bus Association, and we are AERP's preferred rail provider. And in addition to unmatched vacations, we offer best in class customer care from your first caller email to your return from your trip. So why take a rail vacation in Western Canada? So not only is it easy to get from get to from numerous um, US gateways, but once there, the variety of options is endless. You can explore coastal towns, British Columbia's wine region, or the Canadian Rockies and its famous resort towns. Uh, there are also two distinct rail experiences that travel through Western Canada, so you're sure to find a rail journey that meets your travel goals. And traveling by train is also the ideal way to cover long distances rather quickly and leave the navigation to someone else. So this gives you ample time to enjoy the changing scenery and leaves you rested and refreshed to explore once you've arrived in your destination. Vacations by Rail offers a variety of Western Canada itineraries for every travel style. Each offers an iconic rail journey, well-located hotel stays with choices that can include deluxe Fairmont properties and memorable regional sightseeing and experiences that really showcase the best of the area you're visiting. So now I'm really excited to introduce Graham. He's going to share some great Western Canada and Canadian Rockies experiences and trips with you. Thank you, Lynn. Hello, everyone. My name is Graham, and uh, as Lynn said, I'm one of our rail specialists here at Vacations by Rail, uh, and here to guide you through some of our tours uh, through Western Canada. Um, so today we start our journey through Western Canada by talking about the Rocky Mountaineer train. Uh, this is Canada's luxury train and features three routes into the heart of the Rocky Mountains. Each route is rich in history and natural, natural wonders. Trains depart from Vancouver, but travellers may elect to follow the routes in reverse, beginning their journey in the Rockies and making their way to coastal Vancouver. This is a daylight train, meaning that it only runs during the day so that you are not missing any of the scenery. At night, we stop and stay at hotels, always included in your tour cost. And so there are two levels of service uh, on board the Rocky Mountaineer that we're going to talk about, uh, gold leaf and uh, silver leaf. And uh, so with gold leaf service, indulge your senses with gourmet meals prepared by executive chefs and expansive views through the panoramic windows of a bi-level glass dome coach to the Canadian Rockies. Stretch your legs and your viewing angles in our bi-level glass dome coaches 
sink into your spacious seat on the upper level and enjoy meals in the lower level dining area. Step out onto your exclusive outdoor viewing platform to get closer to the action. You can also savour every second as you enjoy elegantly plated meals prepared with local ingredients from the comforts of our dedicated dining room, all the while sprawling views of the Rocky Mountains will be unfolding right outside your window. Sit back and enjoy the scenery as your hosts attend to your every need. From entertaining you with stories about passing landmarks, to topping up your glass of wine and calling out wildlife sightings, you can rest assured that everything will be taken care of. And in our Silverleaf service level, this gives you everything you need and more to experience the majesty of the Rocky Mountains in luxury. You have panoramic views, delicious meals and beverages brought right to your seat, friendly hosts and complimentary baggage transfers, and also miles and miles of memories. Custom designed glass dome coaches give you a true panoramic view of your surroundings. The oversized windows give you a clean, crisp view and make photography a snap. You can take it all in from the comfort of your reclining chair, or you can get a little bit closer in our outdoor viewing area. Enjoy gourmet meals served in the comfort of your seat, and a friendly team of hosts and culinary team members will serve your meals, entertain you with stories, take care of those special requests, and ensure your comfort so you can focus on the journey ahead. And so we offer several itineraries uh, through the Rockies on board the Rocky Mountaineer, so that way everyone can find the tour that fits the best fits them. Uh, the one I want to highlight today is the Canadian Rockies and Rocky Mountaineer tour. Uh, so this is an eight day, seven night trip. Uh, it is a fully escorted tour, meaning that from start to finish, you'll be traveling with a small group of travelers and will be led by a professional tour manager. On this tour, we visit some of the Canadian Rockies' best loved destinations, Jasper, Lake Louise and Banff. And so here are just some of the highlights of the things that you'll experience on the tour, uh, including the Banff gondola to the summit of, uh, of uh, Sulphur Mountain, uh, which provides you with some incredible views of six mountain ranges, as well as the Bow Valley below. Uh, also, the excursion to Malign Lake, uh, which just has this incredible blue water and views of three, three, three glaciers uh, from the lake as well. So those are uh, two of the best highlights uh, that, uh, that you can experience on this trip. And uh, here are just some of the beautiful images you'll experience on the tour as well. Uh, in the top left is Malign Lake. Uh, there is the uh, Columbia ice fields you can see, uh, the Vancouver skyline. Uh, and in the bottom left is the view of uh, Sulphur Mountain. Uh, in the forefront is the, uh, the Rocky Mountaineer. And another train that we ride through the Rockies and even across country is uh, Via Rail's flagship train, the Canadian. This is a sleeper train and offers a classic overnight experience. There are several accommodation options on this train and a, vacation, and a vac vacations by rail itinerary always include sleeper plus class or prestige class where available, ensuring the perfect amount of inclusions and privacy. Uh, so let's talk about some of these accommodation options. The uh, semi-private berths is the first option. And if you think of those old movies where passengers are traveling overnight, these berths will take you back there. During the day, you would be in a car with other passengers, relaxing on couch style seats by a large picture window. And at night, these convert to upper and lower berths that also include a heavy curtain that you can draw for, for privacy. There are shared restrooms located down the hall. Uh, and if you are a sole traveler, then the cabin for one uh, is a private cabin where during the day you have a seat by a large picture window. And at night, it is converted for you into a lower bunk. There is a toilet in your cabin and a shared shower located down the hall. The uh, cabin for two, if, you, uh, if there are two people traveling, is a private cabin where during the day you'll have two seats by a large picture window with a fold down table in between. And at night, you have a lower and upper berth. There is a bathroom in your cabin with a toilet and sink and a shared shower located down the hall. Uh, the picture on the right is a shot of a cabin for two converted for the evening. Guests can also upgrade to prestige class via rail's newest class. Each prestige cabin has a modular leather L-shaped couch by day and a Murphy bed for two by night facing the window. The picture gives you a great idea of what this looks like. And cabins also include electric radiant heated cabin floors, a private washroom with shower, flat screen TV with video selection, 
mini bar stocks with a selection of beverages and the services of a personalized dedicated prestige concierge. And so with a lot of these uh, accommodation options, meals are included aboard the train, along with access to lounges and observation cars. In the dining car, from breakfast to dinner, you can select items from a gourmet three course menu. You can also purchase a selection of local beers and wines by the glass to accompany your meal. If you are traveling in their prestige class, all alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks are free of charge throughout your trip. And we offer a wide range of tours on board Via Rails Canadian, and one of the most popular ones is our Canadian Rockies by Rail Tour. Uh, this is a seven day, six night trip. Uh, and unlike the last tour that we looked at, this is a fully independent itinerary, meaning that everything is set up for you, but you are traveling on your own, not with a group or a tour guide. One of the most popular things about independent tours is that really you can move at your own pace. Beginning in Vancouver, board the renowned Canadian for your classic overnight rail journey to Jasper. From Jasper, your exploration of the Canadian Rockies continues on your own and by scenic coach transfers. Highlights include an excursion to the Columbia Icefield, en route to, the, to, en route to Lake Louise, and a discovery of Banff's iconic sites, including Surprise Corner, Tunnel Mountain Drive, and a unique gondola ride to the top of Sulphur Mountain. This Canadian Rockies exploration ends with a transfer to Calgary. This itinerary offers a great opportunity to spot wildlife as well. The Rocky Mountains are an important habitat for elk, moose, bighorn sheep, grizzly bears, and so many more mammals, fish, and birds. So if you're an animal lover, the Canadian Rockies are definitely for you. Uh, again, some highlights of the tour, uh, and one of my personal favorites, which is the Columbia Icefield and Glacier Walk. Um, you saw a picture in our previous tour of the Ice Explorer, which takes you onto the uh, Athabasca Glacier, which is incredible. And then the Glacier Skywalk is amazing. You just step out onto uh, a glass Ford lookout and see the valley spread out before you. Uh, so yeah, two of the, uh, the best highlights uh, on this particular tour as well. Uh, again, just some more beautiful images of what you will encounter. Uh, you have Lake Louise, uh, the Banff Gondola, the Columbia Ice Fields, and you can see the uh, the glass walk, uh, the glacier skywalk there, uh, and also Maline Lake as well. And so, staying in the Rockies, the next itinerary I want to highlight is our Rockies Peaks uh, and the ok Okanagan Valley vacation. Like the previous itinerary, we're traveling on Via Rails Canadian, but what makes this itinerary extra special is it is a rail and drive vacation, which allows you to travel over longer distances by train and explore on your own by car. Particularly during a time when we're all conscious of social distancing, this off the beaten path itinerary is a staff favorite. So this 10 day journey begins and ends in Vancouver. We start with a scenic road trip van from Vancouver to, to, to Kelowna, located in the picturesque Okanagan Valley. Spend two days here exploring at leisure. A highlight of your time here is a day of wine tastings at the local vineyards. And then your journey continues by car into the Canadian Rockies to Banff. Here, explore independently in your free time and with the help of a guide on a tour through the park. When it comes time, travel to Jasper. The route takes you along the Icefields Parkway and includes an excursion to the Columbia Icefields and the mighty Athabasca Glacier. A guided tour introduces you to the best of Jasper as well. Return to Vancouver aboard Can Canada's uh, premier overnight train via Rails Canadian offering a classic overnight rail adventure. And uh, just some highlights of the tour. And as we mentioned previously, the Okanagan wine tour has always proven to be very, very popular uh, as the Valley boasts over 200 wineries and produces some incredible wines as well. And then obviously the tours of the national parks provide you, provide you with some breathtaking views uh, for you to uh, enjoy. And uh, just as a reminder, your rental car comes equipped with unlimited miles, so exploration is encouraged as you travel by car between destinations in the Rockies. Uh, and here are just some of the great images that highlight this itinerary as well and that you can experience. Uh, so we have uh, Kelowna, uh, there you can see the Okanagan Valley, uh, Vancouver, Banff, the uh, Columbia Icefield, and then in the bottom left-hand corner is Via Rails Canadian. So let's move on to uh, another popular Via Rail train and route, the Jasper Prince Rupert. 
This route and train of the same name travels between the Rocky Mountains and the Northwest Pacific Coast. This route features dramatic scenery on the two day journey from the Canadian Rockies to the West Coast. Uh, this is not an overnight train, it's just a train during the day. So the train stops in St. George at the end of day one uh, and you stay at a hotel, returning to the train for the second leg of the journey to Prince Rupert uh, on day two. And so on this particular route, you can choose from two seating classes. Uh, in economy class, sit back in a roomy seat and take in a spectacular scenery that flies by through the large windows in our train cars. Uh, in touring class, enjoy an unobstructed view in the Panorama Dome car while eating a delicious hot meal offered on board. Light meals, snacks, hot and cold drinks and alcoholic beverages are available for purchase throughout this trip. And so a popular itinerary that uses this route is our Western Canada and Rockies Wildlife Adventure Tour. Uh, so this is a 13-day, 12-night trip. And like our last couple of vacations, this is a fully independent tour, meaning you are following a well-planned itinerary and all arrangements have been made for you, but you are on your own, setting your own pace and seeing and doing those things most important to you during your time at leisure. This itinerary runs the gamut on transportation experience, featuring travel by boat, train and plane, each offering a new perspective on the sites in Western Canada. You will spend time in the great city of Vancouver and enjoy some of the surrounding island locales, such as Port Hardy and Prince Rupert. And moving back to mainland Canada, places such as Prince George, Jasper, Lake Louise and Banff lie ahead. In each destination, you can look forward to guided adventures and independent exploration. You will do things like embark on tours to see whales and grizzly bears, explore amazing natural sites, sightsee through big cities and quaint villages, and experience Canada in a whole new way. Uh, so just some highlights uh, on this tour again. Uh, again, with this particular one, you have the Columbia Icefield uh, and Skywalk, uh, but the plane ride and cruise give you a chance to see Canada and the Rockies from a, from a different perspective and get some even more incredible views of the surrounding landscape. So uh, those are two things definitely worth um, uh, picking this itinerary for. And just some images of your future tour. Um, it's in the background, you have Banff National Park, uh, Prince Rupert Island, the Athabasca Glacier, uh, that is uh, Canada's inside passage. Uh, and in the forefront is Shannon Falls. And finally, on to the uh, last Western Canada vacation, which is our Pacific Northwest Rail Journey. And so this is an eight day, seven night trip. Uh, this too is another one of our popular and fully independent vacations. And it includes two via rail routes and two different rail experiences, one overnight rail adventure and one scenic daylight journey. And so just a quick vacation over, overview, you begin in Vancouver with time at leisure to acquaint yourself with some of the city's most iconic highlights, such as shopping along Robson Street, exploring the market on Granville Island, or taking in the gorgeous views from English Bay Beach. From Vancouver, you will travel via the Canadian to the mountain town of Jasper, where you can explore iconic sites like Maline Canyon and Medicine Lake. After Jasper, you will board the Jasper Prince Rupert train for your travel northwest, with an overnight stay in Prince George before reaching the quaint town of Prince Rupert. Uh, Prince Rupert is a, is a home to a multitude of fun things to do and see, as there, and there is, as there is an abundance of unique shops, cafes, and excellent art galleries. Select departures will also enjoy a whale watching tour off the shores of Prince Rupert, or venture on a grizzly bear viewing excursion of Kutsi Mateen. Your Pacific Northwest journey comes to an end as you make your way to Prince Rupert Airport for your return home. And finally, just some highlights of this particular tour. Uh, and I think uh, the biggest one is the daylight train ride from Jasper to Prince Rupert. Uh, it's a route that is a bit less well-traveled than others, but there are still so many incredible sites to, to take in, such as Kitwanga, uh, which is famous for its totem poles, uh, some of which you can see from the train, and the Kitsellas Canyons and tunnels, uh, which are best viewed from the dome car. Uh, so this is definitely one of the biggest draws for this tour, uh, in my opinion. And just some images to see on this particular tour. Uh, in the background, you have uh, the Via Rail, Via Rail uh, Jasper, Vancouver. Um, there's the wildlife spotting on select departures to see grizzly bears. 
Uh, and then in the forefront is Prince George. And so the itineraries we've talked about today represent a small sampling of, of our Canada rail vacations, and hopefully it gave you a taste of the different trains, experiences, and destinations available. All of the itineraries we showcased uh, depart in the spring, summer, and fall. However, if winter is your season, we've got you covered. We offer several great independent rail vacations exclusively for winter travel. On these itineraries, you experience the best of the Canadian wilderness in winter and discover spectacular scenery, as well as vibrant Canadian cities. Winter is an ideal time to travel as the rates are lower, the trains are less crowded, and the staff has more time to share their tales of the rails with you. And finally, just one last tidbit for you. On any of our independent vacations, you can enhance your experience with upgrades. Uh, you can add excursions, add a cruise, extra nights hotel, or possibly just upgrade the hotels or class of service uh, that you're in. Um, each independent package includes different options, so please be sure to speak with your rail specialist for additional ideas. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and with that, I will turn you back over to Lynn. Thanks so much, Graham. It is time for another polling question. So let's go ahead and launch that. It is, which experience most appeals to you in Western Canada? And there are some options on your screen, um, ranging from an overnight rail journey, a daylight train journey, to visits to national parks, that great wildlife viewing Graham told us about, and of course, the Canadian Rockies resort towns. So we'll go ahead and leave this open for about 15 more seconds, let everyone have a chance to participate, and then we'll share the results. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close that poll. And it looks like the top selection is an overnight rail journey followed by visits to national parks. So that is, um, those are some definite great choices. Um, if you'd like to learn more about our rail vacations um, to Western Canada and the Canadian Rockies or throughout the continental US, um, Alaska or destinations around the globe, you can request one of our brochures by calling 877-929-7245 or you can download them from vacationsbyrail.com. Just a little hint that our newest brochure is on press soon. So um, if you're looking for a print copy, some, some orders may be a bit delayed, but they are coming to you very soon. Uh, to make a reservation, you can contact any of our rail specialists toll-free at 877-929-7245, or you can also book online at vacationsbyrail.com. So it is time for some questions. So let's get started on those. Um, Ram, where is luggage stored for overnight rail trips? Uh, yeah, so there is a baggage car um, on the train where you can store your main luggage um, and then most people, they would just take kind of a small carry-on bag uh, into your cabin or berth uh, for the overnight, uh, the overnight uh, journey. Fantastic. Um, the next question, can I add additional hotel nights in any destination on my trip? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Our Canadian trips are very easy for us to customize. So uh, sometimes, uh, you know, we do have to consider the, the train schedule, but as, uh, as long as that matches up, uh, we can add or remove hotel nights in any of the locations on the tour. Okay, great. Um, what is the cost and accommodation for single travelers, those solo travelers? Uh, yeah, this is a bit difficult to say as it does vary from trip to trip. Um, it's always best to just call one of our teams so we can run through the through the single pricing with you. Uh, in terms of accommodation, there are single cabins on board the train, which uh, we obviously discussed uh, in the webinar. Uh, and at the hotels, you will always have a sole occupancy room. Okay, thanks. Um, are meals included on these itineraries? Uh, yeah, again, this does vary depending on the tour. Um, all meals are definitely included on board the train, uh, whether it is an escorted or independent tour. Um, on the independent tours, the remainder of the meals usually won't be included, uh, but on the escorted tours that we run, uh, there generally will be some breakfasts or dinners uh, that will be included at the hotels uh, or a local restaurant. Perfect. 
Uh, this is a good one. Do you accommodate large families or small groups? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We can always accommodate this. Um, there are no kind of sort of uh, family suites on board the overnight trains, uh, but we can always make sure we have berths or cabins that are next to each other if needed. Uh, and then if the hotels um, have uh, family rooms available, then we can always request and book those for people as well. All right, thanks. Do you have vacations that include both Via Rail and Rocky Mountaineer? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, for example, if people were looking to do a Vancouver round trip, uh, they can take Via Rail uh, on board the Canadian up to Jasper uh, and then travel down to either Lake Louise or Banff uh, and then return to Vancouver on board Rocky Mountaineer. So, yeah, it's certainly something that we can do and, and we do have uh, itineraries for that. All right, perfect. We have time for one more question. Um, are transfers from the airport to the hotel or the train to my hotel included? Uh, sometimes, again, it does vary by tour. Uh, on some of the tours, there are scheduled transfers which are included, uh, and others you would just need to make your own way to the hotel or train. Uh, we're always able to add this in if we need to, though. Uh, so, again, best to just uh, give us a call, and uh, one of your rail specialists will be happy to discuss that with you. All right, perfect. Thank you. Um, that's all the time we have today for questions. If yours wasn't answered, and I know we have a couple here that we didn't have a chance to get to, don't worry. Um, please expect to hear from one of our rail specialists with a personal reply this week. So um, that is all we have for today. We want to thank you very much for attending and wish you a very great day. Thanks so much.